A common issue that many Linux users have probably experienced is that they would hear a popping sound right before the playback of a video or audio file and I have experienced this on my laptop in the past and it's mainly when I would watch video on YouTube and especially if I'm wearing headphones and I stop the video um, it would go silent for a while and then when I play back the video right before the playback I would hear a popping sound uh, and so basically the reason why this occurs is because of power saving um, it disables the audio and then when you play back the video or audio it turns back on so the way to fix this is you first open up a terminal and also I'm using Manjaro as an example but you can basically do this on any other distro so let me make the text a bit bigger to make it easier to see so you do sudo and then nano and then slash sys slash module slash snd um, I think that's an underscore snd underscore hj underscore intel and then slash parameters slash power underscore save so you should get um, this should open up and the reason why uh, I'm not getting anything here is because of the fact that um, I'm using this on a virtual machine uh, and I'm not showing it through my actual laptop um, but basically for this value you should get a, a 1 so you should see a 1 here um, and so basically change that value to 0 and then do uh, control S to save it and then and so I'm getting an error here because well it doesn't exist for my computer again like I said this is mainly for laptops but you basically do uh, control S and then control X to exit and then it's gonna ask me again if I want to save but I can't um, and so for the next file that you have to change is basically the same thing but after power underscore save you add another underscore and then you add controller and so for this one it's probably gonna have a capital Y uh, again Y meaning for being activated <coughs> same thing for the previous one one meaning for enabled so basically change that Y to a capital N and again do control save or control S and then do control X and that should save it uh, and if you want to check to see if you did save it you can go back open it up again so um, but doing this should fix your issue but if you have TLP installed as well um, then it's basically going to reset those values every time you restart your computer so if you want them to not res restart every time you have to do again sudo nano and then slash etc slash default slash TLP and then you're going to get the um, TLP config file and then you can scroll all the way down and remember if your distro doesn't come with TLP like if you don't have TLP installed then you're good to go um, so scroll down where you see something about the audio so let's see where this was alright so I found it so basically scroll down until you see this uh, sound power save on and also the comment here where it talks about audio power saving so again this is for the Intel HDA devices um, and the AC97 devices so again primarily laptops really or I think only laptops um, but essentially when you go to this line here as you can see when it's on the battery um, the power saving is enabled so you can change that value from 1 to 0 and then the power save controller you can also change that from a capital Y to an N um, and then you can do control S and then control X and you're good to go so again basically these first two commands here um, basically do the same thing except um, if you don't have TLP installed then they stay the way they are but if you do have TLP installed uh, then the 
what whatever is in the config file overwrites the changes you have made. Um, so that's why if you do have TLP, uh, definitely try to do this. And um, when, once you've disabled the power saving for the auto, audio specifically, um, you should be good to go. So once you've done this, I don't think you even have to restart your laptop. You can just um, test it out yourself. So yeah, hopefully this worked for you. Hopefully it helped. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.